Hardening of the Arteries – How Secondary Prevention Can Help Keep You Healthy Heart attack, stroke, and blockage of blood flow to the legs are caused by blood clots forming over plaques in the arteries. This is often called hardening of the arteries. Healthcare professionals refer to this as atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is usually the cause of coronary artery disease, CAD, a condition which affects the arteries that supply the heart with blood. People who have atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, can make lifestyle changes and take medications that can help prevent a heart attack, stroke, and reduced blood flow to the legs. Secondary clot prevention means preventing another heart attack or stroke after the first one has happened, or preventing worsening of blockages of the arteries. Because you already have disease in your arteries, you are at much higher risk of having a heart attack, stroke, sudden death, or other serious events caused by blood clots in your arteries. This is different from primary prevention, which means preventing these events from happening in the first place. People who have atherosclerosis and have already had a heart attack or stroke will need lifetime secondary prevention therapies to reduce the risk of a future event. Most people who have already had a heart attack or stroke take a single antiplatelet drug to prevent another event, usually low-dose aspirin. People at higher risk may need more medications. For example, in the first year after a person has had a heart attack, two antiplatelet drugs are usually needed. After the first year, your doctor may suggest that you continue taking two antiplatelet drugs. Recently, research has found that taking low-dose aspirin with rivaroxaban is a useful drug combination to prevent future heart attack, stroke, and even death. People at higher risk may need more medications. Your healthcare team will determine which medications are best for you. Common regimens include single antiplatelet therapy or taking only one antiplatelet medication, usually low-dose aspirin, dual antiplatelet therapy or taking two antiplatelet medications, low-dose aspirin plus clopidogrel, prasugrel, or ticagrelor. Combination antiplatelet and anticoagulant therapy, which is known as dual pathway therapy, or taking an antiplatelet medication and an anticoagulant medication. Low-dose aspirin plus very low-dose rivaroxaban. The most important side effect of anticoagulant and antiplatelet medications you should know about is bleeding. These medications increase the risk of bleeding, which can be minor or major. It's important to know that the majority of people taking anticoagulant medications do not have major bleeding. As well, the benefit of preventing another heart attack or stroke far outweighs the risk. Your healthcare team will help you understand the best lifestyle and medication regimens for your specific situation. If your healthcare team has prescribed secondary prevention therapy, it's important to take your medications exactly as prescribed. Do not stop taking these medications without consulting your healthcare team.